Then some companies are a bit scared about, you know, the big acceleration that we see the big tech giants are doing right now. And we can easily see if you just look at the most valuable companies in the world that, you know, the, the top valuable companies in any kind of sector is the tech giants. It's the Google, it's the Facebook, it's the Amazon, the Microsoft and Chinese, you know, Baidu, Tencent, yeah. Tencent Baidu, uh, Alibaba, whatnot. Do you think there is a, a risk if you look couple of years ahead that the tech giants will continue to accelerate in this way and therefore it will be harder and harder to build startups or do you think the opposite um i think the big tech giants will continue to accelerate but i do not think that's bad for startups i think it's completely the opposite nice because they can make a great exit or in what way no i think they're the big tech giants are cr uh, continuing to uh, uh fuel innovation and like r d of things uh, of new tech methodologies but also to create new platforms and new new places to create like new opportunities to build startups upon right mm -hmm. uh, so if, if uh, Facebook and Google didn't exist, we couldn't create our company right now right. because they have, thanks to them, people use them for marketing, market their own companies, which generates data, which helps us to mm -hmm. fund them. But, but do you get sometimes a bit scared of the power that the tech giants have if they yeah. will continue to accelerate as well, as you say? No, I love, uh, I love that they accelerate because it also it helps, um, it shows that others can, can do the same. Uh, you can create a new global company really fast and, and from, uh, like take um, a big part uh, affect a lot of people very fast thanks to tech mm. uh, but on the other hand it's scary if you think that they will do that with the wrong uh, intentions right That's so, uh, yeah i have to move here now and i'm mean, really i'm on the opposite side i usually take but just because you're saying what you're saying i have to take the opposite side here and then okay imagine like facebook yep. or linkedin or twitter uh, or someone gets a huge power and they start to also not only be a tech provider but to also take part in the political agenda, for, so, so to speak, yep. and then start to deplatformize people mm -hmm. uh, like Trump <laughs> or other people. Uh, and we, we heard about Joe Rogan, for example, recently at Spotify, which is a big, you know, current mm -hmm. discussion that we have. And Spotify is so far taking the stance they're not really uh, censoring or, or they at least do that less than some other tech giants. Do you have any thoughts about this? You know, should tech giants take more of um, responsibility for the content they have, even though it's provided by their users? Or, or what's your thought about this? Uh, I think when you have uh, when you have built big platforms uh, and you uh, have uh, created products that really affects what people do and learn, that affects them, which these platforms have done. Mm -hmm. You can affect that, right? You do control it. I mean, either you do it explicitly or you do it implicitly. Uh, and of course, these big platforms they have a lot of control, and they so they should use that power, I think, to to um, uh, to do the right thing. But then, what is the right thing? Mm. That's uh, that's hard. So, and this so is they a, should they, in that way. You mean they should control the content more? Uh, or? No, I mean they 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 are they're writing their own algorithms on what to prioritize in yeah. their feeds, for example. Yes. Uh, and uh, so, so I mean, explicitly or directly or indirectly, they are controlling what we do, right? Mm -hmm. And what we see and what we don't see. And there's been numerous examples of how that has been problematic uh, with racial content and stuff like that. So I think uh, they should take that opportunity to uh, affect and, and steer the content that they have in a good way. Mm -hmm. uh, but the question is, what is what is good here, and, and where where does that line go? And I think actually goes back again to the politician exactly. to the political debate because if if uh, if the debate was. <laughs> Uh, was on the, one of these platforms, we could say, oh, you're spreading misinformation here. You're, you're actually using facts that are fake not news. Right. Yeah, well, like if, if this was happening, a debate in, in television, yeah. we, could, we could call out fake news. Exactly. We could say like to, uh, if it was on uh, Swedish uh, SVT, uh, national television, like, uh, oh, uh, you're not censoring uh, wrong content here. Mm. Uh, and no, they're not because they're not used to this at all. Uh, and, uh, okay. but I think they should. It goes back to um, um, they should use the tools that they are that they have and that they're indirectly already using. Mm. And I think uh, um, coming back to my mother brain days, we we we, we, we built this workflow tool which all the users in the team use to prioritize the the companies we look at. Mm. Uh, and there uh, uh, we then chose to say, okay, let's 
not just follow all the, the companies that score high up on the probability to succeed, to succeed. Let's make sure to shift it over and make sure that the team over index on companies that have uh, the, a mixed gender split in their right. funding team, for example. Right. So you basically, let's steer the algorithm for good. Let's, let's use the, this, uh, the, the position we have to actually control what people do. Uh, and to something that we all agree on is something that we want to do, but have a hard time doing ourselves. Mm -hmm. So that we, so I think that's a nice way to think about it, and I think that's uh, how people should think about their different feed algorithms and and content on Spotify. That that they should actually and, apply and, that. And do we want them to do this by good nature, or just this needs to be regulated in order to get there? Yeah. So that's the that is the, the where the where is that line? I think no one has the answer yeah, to it, no. uh, uh, and I think it probably comes, comes back to. Uh, to our brands and what we want to stand for and how we, if, if brands want to help out in society or not, they can take this chance. Because, because there's also this argument that, uh, you know, around your brands and wh why go good AI will be profitable AI is simply that in the end, we as consumers can steer or, you know, can steer them with mm -hmm. our purchasing choices or our platform choices. Yeah. Now, the problem is as when they have monopolist uh, monopolistic um, almost so basically I have no other choice if I want this type of service I will end up here mm. um, so for me it, it calls for that I, I'm not so worried about tech giants but in order to push them or in order for me to be able to steer them mm. I also need uh, some alternatives so for me, the scare point is when the alternatives go straight out of the door, right? Because then I don't know. Then we, I can't even, with my money, say I, I'm going to choose your your friend over here because he's doing the right thing. But then you can still get other reactions, such as like now Spotify people are leaving; uh, they don't want to be part. Like the artists don't want to be part of the platform, yeah. so they're protesting they, in that perspective yeah. instead. So I think, I mean, uh, we, before we have, we weren't able to have this discussion. So it's great that we have it. And this is, I think what we need. Because I, I, if we, if we trust, if we want to start, end on a very positive note, mm. uh, generally uh, my outlook on people is most people wants to do good. We have our good or bad days, yeah. but there are very few people I meet. Or have you met many evil people? No really evil people, you know? No, we don't, right? No. So if, if we all have that sentiment, it, it basically, if someone is going too much, you know, AI for greed, so it's evil. I mean, like even they are not evil, they're greedy, right? But if they take that too far, I think that will have a backlash, you know, yeah. like we, you know, and I, I think you can in some ways trust the society to in the end do a revolution, like the French revolution or whatever we do at some point in time, something will crack if yes. you are taking this too far. And it, nowadays it goes so much faster because yes. there is so much power uh, yes. through the social media platforms. So it's in a way ultimately self-regulating. Yes. This is my hypothesis.